Hey, how's it going today? And I'm going to walk you through this tutorial on how to import a MetaHuman mesh into Unreal Engine and then connect it to a mannequin. So basically you can animate a MetaHuman within Unreal Engine. And so I want to thank Gorka Games for basically putting out the first video to show how to do this and then I'm kind of giving you my take on that video. So anyway, we we're in Unreal Engine 5. What we're going to do is just go to games and third person here and just go create. It just takes a minute to load up. I'm really excited about working with MetaHumans. It's a lot cheaper than I think using iClone. So we're just going to go into the Quixel Bridge. I already did a tutorial about this. We're going to go into MetaHumans. I've already created this MetaHuman here and then just click that blue arrow and that's going to go ahead and export it into. But what's going to happen, I believe this is a glitch, is that it's missing plugins, so we just go ahead and enable those. And then we have to unfortunately restart the engine. I believe there's a way to fix that uh, by correcting the initialization file, the INN, INI file, but I don't know 100%. So now I can just close this, and I have my MetaHuman imported. So there's just some different folders we've got to work around. I think a lot of this is just kind of knowing where things are. So basically, if you think about it, is we're just going to try to take the mesh from the metahuman and tie it to the skeleton of a mannequin. But then we also have to animate the mesh as well. Then we have to correct the orientation and then basically connect the pivot point. So that's what, if you think about it that way, then I think this makes a lot more sense. So where we are here, we've got, of course, a number of folders on the, and we're going to go into our, let's see, where are we going to go? We are going to go into our MetaHuman, and we are going to go into test one is what I called my MetaHuman. So... I find it helpful always to check the Now, the skeletal mesh that we're going to tie to is not clear where it is exactly, so it's a lot easier just to filter and find it by filter. So if you just type in skeletal mesh, it's going to be right there. If you click that off, you have to click that off once the search is done. I make a mistake here that I turned it off and then I lost everything. So I have to redo the skeletal mesh right here. So... There it is. So don't turn it off until you've got it. Came what you came here to do. So so we right click here, and we're just here is where we're going to tie our base mesh to the mannequin's skeletal structure. So right now this is our base mesh from our metahuman, and we're simply attaching it to our mannequin's skeletal structure, and go accept and OK, and then that's done. So that's a big part of it but there's other pieces you can see right here in the thumbnail we've only attached a part of it and there's a lot more still to do now we're going to go into the now I can turn off the skeletal mesh and I go into the third person blueprint character and this is basically a blueprint class that can be used to create many instances of the same character and so there's our character there and if we look there's our her mesh the mesh there but it's not connected. It's this in the blueprint class is still connected to the Quinn mannequin. So what we want to do is tie that to here. I accidentally clicked on that little folder. I wasn't supposed to do that. I need to click on that arrow and then I can again search for body and I'm looking for the ba our base mesh of our metahuman and it's right there. Now you can see the base mesh is attached in the blueprint class to the mannequin's skeletal structure. But there's a lot more pieces that we still need to attach. So we have a, a ways to go here. It's kind of a, I'm gonna say it's kind of, we're doing it the quick and dirty way in a, in a sense. It's one way to get it, the job done. So, so anyway, now we go into MetaHumans and we're gonna open up the MetaHuman blueprint, which will contain all the mesh pieces that we need. So if we go into the viewport, here's our metahuman and it has all the meshes that we need. So simply all we're going to do is copy these and take those into the 
third person, but I'm getting a missing plugin error, so I'm going to enable that, and it's going to force me to restart. So I don't know why it's making me restart all over again. So this would be the second restart. So I do think there are some glitches in the program, but hopefully those will get taken care of eventually. So we got to go back, and the first place we're going to go is back into our blueprint, our third person blueprint class. And I'm just going to open the viewport. And now I'm going to go back into my MetaHuman blueprint. And so basically we're just transferring assets, the, the mesh assets from one blueprint class to another. So when I click this, we only need to, we only need to be in here and I go into the viewport. We only need to be in here to get the MetaHuman meshes, the, the remaining pieces that we're missing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come over here on the left side and I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to select all four of these because we need all four. And then I'm going to right click and copy. Then I'm going to jump over to the blueprint third person and it almost doesn't matter where I paste it because it's not going to go where it needs to and I paste them in. But I didn't get everything I needed so I need to go back and since this is a female, I need to get the eyelashes, the eyebrows, and her hair. Hopefully she doesn't have a mustache. So we'll right click and we'll go copy and we'll go in here. And I can paste these into the under the face and hopefully they'll become a child, but they didn't. So now what we've got is we don't need that anymore. We've got everything we needed from there, so we're basically done there. All we have to do here is get things organized and connect our meshes to not only the skeletal structure, but to an animation as well. So here, what we're, all we're doing is we're just getting organized because we have everything is just a mess right now. So the first thing we're going to do is drag these facial features into the face folder. So as you can see, everything is just everywhere right now so but nothing's connected so nothing is, is really working except that base mesh is connected so we drag those into the face and now all I can close this collapse that I can select all these four things and then drag them under the base mesh so now everything is properly parented and child and organized so, but everything, as you can see, is very wonky and disoriented. So what we can do just to make it look better is we can go in and correct all that. So we can start working from the legs. We can start from these, there's four folders here. We can make our work our way down. Down here, that's at 89, we'll put that to zero. That's at 90, we'll put that at zero as well. So we're basically putting it at an origin and making everything where it probably should have been, but because there are two different programs, two different sub-programs, they have different base values. So we'll just put that one at zero and at zero and everything is starting to look a little bit better. But nothing's connected right now. So if I tried to play this right now, it's not gonna, it's not gonna play right. So now we've got everything organized, but now we need to attach things. We can compile and save it as well, but now we need to attach things uh, the meshes to the skeletal structure, just like we did with the the base mesh. So we can start kind of working from the from the bottom up here. So there's her legs, and I come over here and I click that folder, and then that first legs or what I want pants I want the the jeans mesh. I right click. So here's the process of just attaching the pieces to the skeletal structure, to the mannequin skeletal structure. So there, those are attached now. And we just repeat this process. I can skip the face for the tor torso, the same process, go to that folder over here under mesh, and we're just connecting this to the mannequin skeleton structure. It's not attached right now. And without it being attached, the animation wouldn't play. So we can go assign skeleton, we'll go to mannequin, and accept that. And just the feet is the last one we've got to connect. So we go into the folder. Oops, go into the folder. Right click. 
skeleton assigned to the mannequin. So now all of everything, all the meshes are attached to the skeleton structure. But now we have to hook up the animations and things are starting to look better, but you can see that things aren't still lined up and that's because the animations are not aligned. So now we got to hook up the animations and we can start here from the bottom and kind of work our way up. So here I'm clicked on the feet and if I come over here I just have to assign the animation the feet to the Quinn animation and then we're gonna do the torso click on torso and assign that to the animation that's actually the animation blueprint and we can skip the face and the legs we attach there and we're pretty much done except now we can compile and save but if we were to play this it's not going to look right because the entire mesh is offset incorrectly and then we have some weirdness going on with her shirt there so what we have to do is we can go back into our content drawer now we need to go into our mannequins the main blueprint for our mannequins. Let's see, I got a little turn around there. I go to the breadcrumb trail, the character, the mannequin, the animation. And we want the Manny blueprint because the Quinn is actually a child of Manny. So we need to adjust Manny's blueprint. So we'll double click on this to open it up. And we can go ahead and dock this. And then we can go to the anim graph click on the control rig and I can with my right mouse button scooch up and then here I can zoom in and it's offset incorrectly so we want to just put this on the animation and that compile it and save compile and save often helps avoid errors and there's one last thing that we need to do and it's to do with this shirt and for some reason it's not, there's probably uh, maybe different ways to fix this, but one thing we can try to do is uh, click on the torso and then we can we can just try to scale it up here on the X. Not too much, but just enough to to kind of cover it. So just a little bit and you'll notice the whole shirt kind of widens, see? And then we can on the on the Y just a little bit, not too much. And then there's probably some other settings that might help. This one on the post, click that. And then if you wanted to, you could even just try disabling the whole simulation and see if that helps. Between those three things, I think that takes care of the problem. Now we compile and save. And if we go into the third person, we hit play and I can hit W and she should be fully animated working just fine. And there you go. Special thanks to Gorka Games for their initial tutorial. Take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.